Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? <laughs> All good, thanks. Yeah. You've thank done you. it. Here Bye. it is. It looks nuts. It's mad, yeah. It looks like it's just been raised from Atlantis, a bit of kind of thousand leagues under the sea. <laughs> that was the look we're going for. That's it's the like look Drew was going for. Want oh, <laughs> I wanted orange and shiny. It's not real rust. Our friend is a set painter. He did this rusty effect on it, and yeah, it's looking pretty cool. And is the inside very different? Completely different. Yeah, yeah it's a stark contrast. Well, we we hope. Can we go inside and have a look? Yeah, yeah let's I'd do love it. After you. Five months ago, Butternut's interior was far from habitable. Old, damp, and dusty, Drew had a lot of work on his hands to win Miranda over to life on water. But look at it now, clean and contemporary and so different from its incarnation as an oil rig lifeboat. Bit of a contrast to the outside, isn't it? A massive contrast to the outside. That is quite spectacular. It's like a TARDIS, isn't it, as you walk in? You're not expecting the, the, the scale of it, really. No, and I wasn't expecting this look either. What a brilliant layout. And I love all the curves. I mean, you've got this beautiful barrel vaulted curve within the lifeboat anyway. And then your beautifully curved kitchen worktop. I'm obsessed with curves, yeah. Yeah, you've gone curve mad, haven't you? Curve <laughs> mad, I think, yeah. I haven't even looked over my shoulder yet. You wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What a bathroom that is. Pretty cool, isn't it? Look at that for a posh bath. It was Whoa. my one condition if I was ever going to live on it. I have to have a bath. Look how deep it is as well. I know, it's one of the biggest baths money can buy, really. It's yeah. a bit of an upgrade from my one in my flat. <laughs> Just a bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There really have been no compromises on luxurious finishes. From the beautiful flooring to the exquisite tiling and worktops. How does it work? So, this is a uh, winch down here. But I'm intrigued to see Drew's innovative pulley system bed in action. There you go. It's probably as good as it's going to get. Yeah, I trust you, but I'm not going to jump on that. Yeah, ma you. maybe some thicker ropes are required, but we haven't tried it yet, have we? It looks great. It's a cool idea. I'm still trying to convince Drew to change the sofa into a sofa bed. It's a very quirky, very inventive idea. Practical? No. no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Compromises have got to be made on a boat, haven't they, I suppose? Yes, compromises are often the price paid for swapping life on land for life on water. But Drew hasn't made many in his transformation of butternut. It might look old and worn on the outside, but the interior reveals a plush modern pad. And I love the contrast. 